Russian intelligence is blaming Ukraine after a deadly car bombing outside Moscow over the weekend. The car owned by Russian nationalist Alexander Dugin. He's a key advisor to Russian President Vladimir Putin, sometimes referred to as Putin's brain. Dugin's daughter, TV commentator Daria Dugina, was killed in the explosion. She was in the vehicle. Ukraine is denying responsibility after Russia tried to pin it on them. However, the claim is raising fears of further escalation in the war. CBS News reporter Mary Ilishina joins us now from Riga, Latvia. Mary, thanks for being here. You heard Anthony describe him as Putin's brain. We've heard that before. Tell us more about Alexander Dugin, what kind of influence he's had on the Kremlin's thinking on the war in Ukraine. Hi, Lana. Hi, Tony. Um, yeah, he's credited with uh, sort of being the intellectual author and putting on paper this idea of the Russian world. And he's a proponent of what is called the Eurasian Empire, which basically means that Russia needs to restore its uh, greatness in the world and, uh, you know, get back to sort of the state of the USSR border. So to expand. So it's very expansionist um, policy. And his daughter, Daria, was also a follower of that. And she was gaining a lot of prominence in those, like, very um, sort of right-wing traditionalist circles. Um, Russian commentators, you know, they, you know, they say that his sort of role um, affecting Putin is slightly overstated, that he uh, might not necessarily had um, the direct sort of connection to him, especially in the recent years, because Putin was increasingly um, isolated from generally everyone because of the pandemic. But, you know, even if he's not the sort of the architect of this invasion, um, he is definitely a a vocal voice of this uh, really strong group of traditionalists in Moscow who are now the most, uh, you know, strong and staunch supporters of this invasion. And he formed this idea that Ukraine is not an independent country. And he's called repeatedly um, for Russia to take a harsher stance against uh, the government in Kiev. Uh, well, cars don't blow up on their own. Someone blew up this vehicle. Uh, and anytime that happens, there's going to be a response from from others. So what? How, how are people feeling in Russia, particularly people of that same intellectual and political class uh, as the Dugan family? They're really alarmed. Uh, the head of uh, Russian uh, propaganda channel, um, RT, uh, said that, you know, she now, she's walking around with uh, the security uh, detail all the time. She, you know, before this attack, she thought it's just, you know, precaution and nothing really serious. But now she's, like, taking this really seriously. Um, and a lot of people are rattled by this because, uh, the place where it happened is also very important. This area where she was driving uh, is where a lot of Russian officials, Kremlin officials li live, Russian businessmen live there. Um, so to have a what is essentially an attack that Russia hasn't seen um, in a really long time, a car blowing up uh, on a highway, um, is you know scary to a lot of people who live there, and they're really powerful elites. Mary, Ukrainian officials are urging government employees in Kyiv to work remotely ahead of the Independence Day holiday, which is on the 24th. What do officials in Ukraine fear could be coming and why do they think keeping people at home will help? Uh, we've heard a lot of calls in Moscow, again, from these people who are really intense about the war in Ukraine and want more from Vladimir Putin, uh, calling to strike what they call decision centers. And what they mean by that is government buildings in Kiev. Mm. Um, so the uh, Ukrainian authorities are trying to, you know, sort of avoid as many counts as possible um, and telling people to not come uh, to work and sort of be gathered in one place where Russia could potentially strike. Um, and the sort of situation with the Dugin's daughter uh, seems to be, you know, an escalation to this because Dugin uh, recently, a couple hours ago, came out um, uh, for the first time commenting on the situation. He said, basically, you know, vengeance won't be enough. Only victory of Russia and Ukraine will sort of avenge the death of his daughter. Um, so that is going to be, you know, probably taking as a step further towards escalation. All right. Mary Lashina, thank you very much.